Prime Minister, welcome to uh, Jerusalem, to you and your uh, delegation. Uh, this is your first uh, visit, the first uh, uh, in Israel, and uh, I hope it's not the last. You invited me to Luxembourg. I've already visited Luxembourg once, and I intend to do it again. Uh, you come, obviously, at a time of great turmoil in the Middle East. Uh, the world looks with horror as uh, hundreds of thousands are slaughtered in Syria, and millions stream to Europe fleeing for their lives. Uh, we spoke about that at some length, but I, I think this is a time of great opportunity as well, uh, and that gives me a great deal of hope. Uh, Israel's uh, partnerships and alliances uh, around the world and in the region are growing broader and deeper. Uh, we stand together with many countries uh, to defend civilization against the forces of militant Islamic barbarism. Uh, and we stand together in the face of uh, resurgent anti-Semitism. I expressed uh, my appreciation for the forthright position that you took in Luxembourg uh, regarding the events uh, uh, there during the Second World War. And your apology to the Jewish community was deeply appreciated. Uh, we also spoke about the future. We stand together to uh, uh, innovate and seize the future. Innovation is the key to economic growth, uh, to turn the promise of tomorrow's technologies to uh, uh, better the lives of our peoples, and I think for the peoples around the world. Uh, Israel and Luxembourg are two small countries, but we've shown that two small countries can be, uh, we shouldn't be judged by our size. We can, uh, we can do a lot of great things, and we are doing them, uh, and I think our small countries possess great strength, and together we'll, we'll be stronger. Uh, we had very fruitful discussions. Uh, I believe in this partnership, and I look forward to uh, uh, continuing this discussion with you in Luxembourg or any other place. Uh, so come back again, and welcome. Thank you. Thank you, dear uh, Prime Minister. I'm uh, very uh, glad to be here in Israel today with uh, my delegation. It's the first time a Luxembourgish Prime Minister is visiting uh, your country, and I'm very happy to hear also that um, the point of view of my government, 70 years later, to uh, present the uh, apologize to the Jewish community by saying that we were not all heroes in my country, we are deeply appreciated. For me, it was uh, important to do that step because it's never too late to uh, recognize errors. But it's the biggest error, it's not to recognize mm. error. So uh, I'm happy that we, we did it. We are friends, Luxembourg and Israel, and our bilateral relations are excellent on the political level, but also on the business level, and have a, a big economic delegation and now also mm -hmm. discussing with the counterpart here in Israel. Um, we are both innovative economies based on innovative economies. We are smart, smart countries, as I like to call also uh, Luxembourg. This is the reason why, besides the political purpose of the visits, we had also meetings to strengthen also the economic relations between both uh, countries. Just to give you an example, for example, Luxembourg and Israel trade has nearly doubled from 2014 to 2015. There is still a large uh, potential, but um, I'm also happy that we open in 2010 a trade and investment office here in Israel. Um, after this meeting, I will go now to the Hebrew University of Jerusalem for signature of an agreement between both uh, universities also to strengths and to the academic cooperation and student uh, on the on the academic and on the student uh, level. We discussed also about uh, the situation we have uh, now uh, in uh, in the world. It is uh, for us as uh, Luxembourger, as I told you, Prime Minister, important that we respect each other, that we are able to find solutions. We want, uh, I know that uh, we offered also the opportunity to speak together, which is the most important thing for us to be able to have dialogue. Um, I will uh, visit, continue my visit uh, tomorrow and for me to bring people together, to speak together to find solutions together is the most important thing. I'm, I should know, and especially young people in Europe should know, that we live in peace. Since a peace project signed in 1957, it was the Treaty of Rome. 
and that peace is not granted. And we should uh, work together to, to be on a respect, because this is the most important thing to preserve uh, peace, which is for me, as a political leader, one of my biggest uh, aim and goal, to respect, to listen, to understand, and to work uh, together. So I'm very happy about the discussion uh, we had today, and I'm very confident of uh, the future discussion we will have together in this uh, hope, because we have common goals. It's uh, the best for all of us. Well, thank you. I, I, I may add that uh, uh, Prime Minister Battelle invited me uh, to Luxembourg, but he also said maybe uh, the Palestinians will come there. Well, it's either Moscow or Luxembourg. We'll see. One of them. Uh, or anywhere else. Uh, we're always prepared to have direct negotiations without preconditions. As you uh, told you, the invitation is open. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.